perspective this week, saving the Mao. The Mao Forest Complex has been making the headlines for all the wrong reasons, from deforestation to encroachment. But this time round, the story is different. This group brings together women from Meliliwad, Narok County, who abandoned shako burning in Mao Forest. Tunapeleka makaa usiku, tunakuja tunanyanganywa pesa, mara mingi tunakuja tunakimbishwa, niliepuka tu kidogo kurepiwa. Tulipitia changamoto mingi mpaka tukakuja kuona hata afadhali tuachane na ile makaa. They are now engaged in sustainable ways of generating income like bidding, knitting, catering and making briquettes from agricultural waste. Hizo briquettes tunatumia eh Hii inafaida kubwa sana kuliko makaa. Huwa haswa e, tunaitwa, tunaenda tunapikia watu, tunalipwa na pia tukuna ile ambaye tunapika, tunapeleka kwa maduka, kuna ya shilingi kumi na kuendelea. Hasa pia tunatengeneza hata kiki ambaye mtu akiwa na sherehe yote anatuagiza tunampikia na anatulipa po awali maisha ilikuwa mbovu sana manake e, kasi ya makaa haswa kwa mama kama mimi ilikuwa sort of ni kama iko riski sana manake huko ni mstuni na sisi ni mimi ni mama wenye wako kwa makaa tokeni tufanye kazi zingine kwa sababu kazi ni nyingi ninapianga ile kichaka kidogo mmoacha wachaneni nayo na mjaribu sana ukienda kuta pali pali misi miti sinauzwa Chaco burning has been attributed to the reduced forest cover in Narok. Deforestation has taken root in this area. The women came to me and I told them I don't have the resources, but we can put our vision together. And that way, because they were the ones who destroyed all the trees that we've seen to produce the charcoal, uh, we said we are going to champion in the environment conservation. By holding meetings, the opinion leaders are now engaging the locals in a conversation of environmental conservation, from destruction to restoration. They are taking lead in exploring other sources of livelihoods, such as dairy farming, which has a great potential in the highlands. Tumeona hiyo kasi ya ngombe ndo sisi wa masai tunajua sana. Tukipata hiyo nyasi na tupate hiyo ngombe ya masiwa, tutaona tutabarikiwa. Meanwhile, where there is some little forest cover left in Meliliwad, another group of women is trying their luck in beekeeping. And interesting to note, their efforts are bearing fruit. Eh, sisi, tumejitahidi, tumeweka misiga, na hiyo misiga, baada ya miesi tatu, inatupatia kitu kama 100,000. Na inaweza kusomesha watoto wetu, inaweza kusaidia, ata inaweza kusaidia wajuku. If you manage your house well, and probably wait for six months and do the first harvest, and harvest can give you 10 to 15 uh, kilograms. If you process that honey, honey is selling out 800 shilling a kg. So to me, I find it very much profitable, especially uh, to the low income earning groups. If you put them in groups, a group of 15 members, and every member can keep my, like, three hives. So at the end of the day, a whole group can have a close to 45 hives. So 45 hives, if you get 8,000 per hive in a year, is good money. Indeed, it's an area with great potential. But for these women who are now environmental conservation champions to have sustainable livelihoods, they definitely need to be empowered, whether it's in their beadwork, dairy farming, or even beekeeping. As a champion and a patron of these women, 
We want to come with solutions. It is about working and working with these women so that we can come with sustainable solutions, one to eradicate poverty and improve the economy of the masses. Well, that story reminds me of Professor Wangari Mathai and her story, The Little Hummingbird. Perhaps a story you want to look out for. Do what you can and play your part to conserve the environment. Yeah.